got action at Tritlagasa. Anna, get on it. Good morning to you too, Sven. What's going on? The police have caught some smugglers. Get me the details. Contraband? Any idea what's being moved? The only moving you should be concerned about is you moving there. Nua, hi there. What's happening over here? Miss Myers, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share this information. I'd ask Uli, but I don't see him around. It can't be that big of a deal, can it? Indeed it can't, ma'am. Just some smugglers. The neighbors reported suspicious behavior. People sneaking around. I caught one of them. He's on his way to the police station now. Oh. Well, Nua, that's good news. What were they trying to smuggle? Well, actually, my colleagues caught him. Just some alcohol, I reckon. You reckon? Yes. I'm a pretty astute observer. There may be something to this. Thanks. I'll snap a few photos and be on my way. Make sure I look great for the front page. Looks like they were loading the contraband from the backyard into the truck. I should take a closer look. This must be where they store their goods. Great! I found Benzedrine. So here's what this is all about. Have you found something? An inhaler? It's not just an inhaler. Benzedrine is an amphetamine, a central nervous system stimulant. So, like a narcotic drug? Exactly. I'll need to photograph this. Christine, hello! Haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Miss Myers, I... You don't look well. Did something happen? I've just found that Dr. Brunner. Dear Lord, he was such a great man. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. Miss Myers, maybe you could come with me. Take a look at the scene. We haven't had the most competent officers lately. Your help would be much appreciated. You're being unfair. Lieutenant Uli Reiter knows what he's doing. But I'd certainly be willing to help you out. I'll swing by the hospital later today. I need to finish an assignment beforehand. All right? Thank you. Thank you, Miss Myers. Time to get back to the office now. Time to write the article. The draft article is finished. Time to pick a photo. Which one should I go with? Great. Let's see if Sven's in so I can show him the article. Got the 
the article? So what's all the noise about that Tritvagasa? Benzedrine inhalers? Hmm. Well, that's a large amount. You got any idea what they want them for? I believe the government is looking to make this substance illegal. Someone could be stockpiling them for profit once they're off the market. As of right now, it's just an inhaler. Well, yes, but... Anything else noteworthy? The police caught one of the smugglers, but I haven't had the chance to talk to him. And their truck had German license plates. They might have been planning to move their cargo to Germany. All right, that'll do. Well done. I should call Uli to find out more about what happened at the hospital. Uli Leiter speaking. It's Anna. Something went down at the hospital. You're on the case, I believe. What? How do you... There is no case. It was an accident. I promised one of the nurses I'd look into it. If that's all right with you. Ah, fine. But let me make one thing crystal clear. Yes, Uli? I am not one of your buddies who'll do whatever you tell them to do. Understood, Uli. Very well. I'll see you there then. Perfect. Anna, you came. I'm so glad. This way, please, into the laboratory. The police are insisting that it was an accident. But Dr. Brunner was always extremely careful. Anna, come in. I'll show you around. Karl Brunner, found dead in the storage room. He suffocated to death. They slammed shut on him, trapping him inside. It didn't take long. The room is pretty small and doesn't have any ventilation. An unfortunate accident. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Isn't that against the rules? I mean, bringing a journalist to a crime scene, <laughs> you know. It's nothing personal, Miss... Anna Myers. You must be Ralph Zacks. Pleasure to meet you. Have we met before? Not in person, no. I read an article about you in Science Universe. Anna has already proved herself to be a reliable person. Dr. Zacks was Brunner's partner. I'm sorry for your loss, Doctor. Now that we're acquainted, let's take a look around. Infinite jest. May I? We'd often use it to hold the door open. Any idea of why Carl didn't use it this time? People are more forgetful when they're in a hurry or focused on something. It's also possible that Dr. Brunner put the skull in place to hold the door, but somebody could have kicked it out of place, thus trapping the doctor. How cruel. Why would someone want to do that? Do you know if there's anybody who benefits from Dr. Brunner's death? No. He was the kindest man I have ever known. We also found a death note inside. Take a look. This is the end. There is no need to look into the circumstances. Karl Brunner. What an unusual death note. In what way? There's no explanation. Furthermore, he's instructing us not to look into the matter. And why does it start with a lowercase t? It almost seems cryptic. Dirk has already confirmed that it's Karl Blumer's handwriting. 
Can we take a look at the body? It's over there. A pen. Must be what he wrote the note with. He had a light with him. These scratches look fresh. They must have been made by Dr. Bruner. Great! I found a lockbox. Uli, this lockbox has scratches on it. Let's have Dirk examine it. All right. The death note is a torn page. Do we know where it was ripped from? Not yet, no. We should find out. Might explain why the note is so strange. Was this laboratory his permanent workspace? We were doing all our research here, but we also have an office. Let me take you there. Please do. I'll stay here and finish up. Miss Myers, please, right over here. What were you and your partner working on? Creating a vaccine for poliomyelitis. Our ambitious goal to eradicate the disease was starting to appear feasible. I hope you achieve your noble goal soon. The vaccine is almost complete, within arm's reach. However, after this grim turn of events, the whole project is in peril. I'm uncertain whether I'm capable of finishing it by myself. Keep at it, Doctor. Many lives are at stake. I will do my best, thank you. This is his desk. We're excited that you're considering a permanent position with us. As the largest hospital in Europe, we're in a position to offer you the best working conditions for your projects. Was Dr. Bruner tempted to change jobs? This information differs from what Dr. Zucks said. All his writing is in blue ink. The mug is full. Must have been in a rush. This might take a while. And I imagine you've got matters to attend to. I do. I'm going to have to make some tough decisions. I'd better start piecing things back together before the whole project goes belly up. Stay here for as long as you need. I'll be on my way now. Thanks for everything. We'll get to the bottom of this. Apparatus. Maybe Dr. Zucks could enlighten me. Ernestine, where can I find Dr. Zucks? He is with a patient at the moment upstairs. All of Dr. Brunner's patients have been transferred to him for the time being, so he has plenty of work. Think I could talk to any of them? Of course. You should start with Caroline. Dr. Brunner spent a lot of time with her. And make sure you grab a surgical mask before you go upstairs. mask. 
Doctor, sorry to bother you. I meant to ask. <laughs> now is a bad time, Miss Myers. Caroline, try to relax. Damn it. Miss Myers, some help. I need leg braces, quick. Hurry up. Pass me the leg braces. ankle straps to restrain her. One more thing. Please call Ernestine and tell her to grab an adrenaline shot. I'm on it. Dr. Zarks needs you to bring him a syringe of adrenaline right now. One of the patients is in critical condition. There's some adrenaline in the office. Let's move. I'll get the adrenaline. You grab a syringe from the cupboard. Upstairs now. We've got the adrenaline. Anna, syringe. Nurse, hold her down. Miss, some assistance. We've got this. Just a little longer. Everything's okay. Do you think I'll be able to talk to the patient anytime soon? It's hard to tell. But definitely not right now. I'm sorry you've had to witness this, Miss Myers. That's okay. Glad I could help. Speaking of help, could you tell me what this blueprint is of? That's an iron lung. Carl was working on it. It's a ventilator that encloses a patient and stimulates breathing by varying the pressure inside. So, essentially, it's a device that breathes for you? Correct. Except Carl couldn't get it to work, and he hadn't made any progress with it in quite a while. It was a distraction from working on the vaccine more than anything else. I see. Is there anything else? I'm quite tight on time, unfortunately. No problem, Doctor. I've kept you long enough. Miss Myers! Miss Myers, wait! I didn't have a chance to thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I'd be delighted to have you come over this evening. I'd love to. Splendid. I'll see you later. Looks like the police already cleared out. There are a couple of things I need to discuss with Uli. I should head off to the police station in that case. Anna, 
we were just about to close the case. Everything's conclusive. It was an unfortunate accident. I'm closing it as soon as Dirk fills out his part of the paperwork. I? Anna, there is nothing else to look into. We've got to draw the line somewhere. I understand. I'd like to have a word with Dirk. Is he down there? Yes, I'll be with you shortly. Dirk, how can I help you? We don't have much time left. Looks like you already met with Uli. Yes. And I can't say I'm surprised. So there's no time to waste. I'm still working on the fingerprints. Did you manage to open the scratched up lockbox Uli brought earlier? I didn't. Well, where is it? In this cabinet. The key should be around there somewhere. Okay. Keep working on those fingerprints. I've got it. Got it. <laughs> 